right. Now, back to you with the, uh, yeah, <coughs> tell all over again. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, this is, this happened in Hawaii. Uh, John, I think John had just been born. Uh, he was, this is in the first year of his life for sure. Uh, we're living in Hawaii. Uh, the, the, uh, I'm playing in a, in a band called Teaser and we're playing at the rock and roll clinic. And this, uh, this guy, he was a Samoan. And one of the things that, that I noticed right off the bat when we're living in Hawaii is that the Samoan people are just a huge people. They're a, they're a gigantic, probably the biggest I've ever seen. This guy comes in the bar and he's a Samoan dude and he's a, I'm going to say he's 6'8", probably 300 pounds plus. Solid whale bone, this guy. Not a bit of fat on him. He, this guy looks like he is just could pick up a house, a car or whatever. Walks up to the bar and tells the bartender he wants a beer. And uh, the bartender goes, look, uh, I'm not allowed to serve you. you. You came in here and you caused trouble before and I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Well, the guy says, no, I need a beer first. And so the guy says, no. All of a sudden, this guy reaches out and grabs the bartender and hits this guy right in the face. And, and the guy and the guy just, just collapsed. And he turned around and started wailing on every man in the bar. I mean, it was like it, it was like going from table to table. Just if, if you're a man, you're going down. And, and uh, I mean, eventually, we're on the band playing. We're on the bandstand playing. And we, we stopped playing, and we're just sitting here watching this guy pummel every man. And, he, and what was funny is that, if there was a girl there, he would like, he, he would like, excuse me, ma'am, you know, and then bam, he would just pummel her boyfriend. You know, I, I'm not trying to hurt you. It was like real respect, real respectful to the women, you know, it was like, excuse me, you know, uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't hurt you, but, but this guy here, bam, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so really and truly the, the, the club starts flooding out. I mean, the girls and the guys and every, anybody that can walk is headed for the door. Now we're still on the stage because he's in between us and the, and the, uh, and the stage, I mean, us, he's, he's between the stage and the door. And uh, all of a sudden, I look around, and there's like 10, maybe 12 men just laid out across the floor. And all of a sudden, he looks at us, you know. He looks at us and kind of walks up to the stage, and, he, and we're, we're freaking out. We're thinking, you know, this guy's fixing to kill us. And all of a sudden, he goes, you guys sound good. Turns around and walks out. So at this point, another guy comes up and had a hammer, Right comes up and hits this guy in the back of the head with this, it wasn't a giant hammer, but it was a ball-peen hammer, hits this guy in the back of the head, and this guy just stops, turns around like this. And in the meantime, this guy who had the hammer, he goes, oh, fuck. And, <laughs> oh, fuck. And he drops the hammer and takes off running. And not before this guy can reach out and grab him, this guy turns him upside down, grabbed him upside down and slammed his head into the floor. And then walks up, he goes, it's time I come in here for a beer. You might want to give me a beer, you know. All um, right. Yeah. Fucking hey. Yeah, it was a pretty good one. Yeah. <laughs>